Hello, I'm Emma Howard and I'm joined by Dr Sue Laurent, who's a consultant paediatrician at Barnet Hospital in Hertfordshire. Hello Sue. Hello Emma. I have a question here that I know lots of parents get very concerned about. What is a febrile convulsion? Is it epilepsy? And can a child have more than one? So tell us first of all what it is. Yes, well febrile convulsions are actually remarkably common. Um, we probably at any time on the ward, we've probably got one child in who's just had a febrile convulsion. And these are fits which are caused purely by having a high temperature and they occur in children aged between about six months and five years. And, and what I always say to parents is it, 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 it can happen to anybody. It doesn't mean you've got epilepsy. It just means that your temperature has got high enough for this, for this particular child to have a fit. Usually they're very short lasting. So usually it's a matter of 30 seconds a minute. Occasionally they can go on for a long time. And, and more and more course. than 20 minutes is a long time. Oh, it's a very long time. Yes. Even 30 seconds I yes. mean, is the most distressing thing for a parent to see in their child. Yes. Very frightening. Yes, and, I, and I've had one in my own child, and I know despite everything I knew, it still makes you feel <gasps> very, very anxious. So the child sort of passes out, goes floppy, and then they... Goes floppy and often has jerky movements. But the important thing is that, that, that these children aren't in danger, and, and as parents, what you need to know is you need to put them safely on their side in what we call the recovery position. So either on a bed or on the floor, and do not stick your fingers into their mouth. It's a very common thing for parents to want to do, to, to, because they are worried that the child's going to swallow their tongue. And what happens is I get parents coming in with really nastily bitten fingers. So don't stick your finger on your child's mouth. And that's, mouth. of course, your child's going to clamp down hard. Yeah, they will clamp down very hard on you. So just have the head on one side and the child will be safe. And the tongue will roll forward. The child will roll forward. Yes. And lots of people say, of course, a febrile convulsion won't happen mm. if you medicate and bring that temperature down. Unfortunately, I wish that was true. And it's certainly important to try and keep your child's temperature down. So that if your child has got an illness with a fever, do strip them off. Do um, give them paracetamol or ibuprofen and do, if they're still hot, just use some tepid sponging, not cold sponging, but tepid sponging. But unfortunately, the evidence of actually doing all of that will actually prevent a febrile convulsion isn't really there. So if the child has a natural propensity for it, it will happen? It will probably happen and so parents mustn't beat themselves up about it. I think another important thing to say is if you've had one febrile convulsion, it's, it's possible to have another one in about a third of all children. So one in three will have another and about two in three children will never have another, another febrile condition. So really, understanding what it is will help you if it happens. Exactly, exactly. So thank you very much for your advice. If you have a similar problem, we hope we might have given you some help. But remember, it's always best to go and see your own doctor for medical advice. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more health questions and answers.